Dear students, very good morning. Myself, Professor S. G. Bhagwat, coordinator of computer science. I am handling a subject management and entrepreneurship for IT industries. Now, first, I would like to welcome you to PIP semester. I would say like to say congratulations to you. You are all promoted to PIP semester. Now, my question is. why to study this subject why to study this uh, management and entrepreneurship for it industry subject for your computer science you are all computer science students my question why to study this subject yeah study for a better future no doubt at all you see here let me tell you uh, you have seen lot of successful people success stories but many people okay who have succeeded in life also okay they committed suicide example if you see last year, two years back when i was teaching uh, yeah mnd subject to your seniors i was telling that example copy estate owner siddhartha okay having a having thousand crores they committed suicide many people who are, who have achieved a lot also committed suicide why that is a question second question many people okay they may work hard they may write any programs and they may get success but they are not in the position to lead their life happily why because of lagging of management skills so they have made a compulsory one subject in pip semester management and entrepreneurship for it industry so that management okay is a must and should very important subject okay it is a any other subject if you see okay for example any not all subjects any one subject you take you may are studying this semester next semester you may forget their things but management skills what you are studying you know that will be useful for life long okay in this subject not only you are getting marks purpose lot of some activities also i want to conduct it last and the online offline class starts lot of activities lot of uh, things will be there to make the education purposeful meaningful and enjoyable that is our motto okay come to the introduction part first uh, okay first model model 1 we are going to study about introduction what is the meaning of management nature and uh, characteristics of management scope and functional areas of management we are going to study and goals of management levels of management brief overview of evaluation of management theories we you are study and uh, plans uh, organizing uh, uh, nature this uh, plans and types of organizations stopping we are going to study in model 1 i'll give you some important questions same type of questions they will ask okay uh, next uh, direct and uh, directing and controlling that's a second model we are going to study meaning and nature of directing uh then leadership styles motivation theories communications and importance of coordination meaning and imp- meaning and importance of controlling everything we are going to study in model 2 then model 3 is entrepreneur we got we completely focused on entrepreneur there then model 4 is preparation of project erp what i call uh, this one project identifications Uh, ERP means enterprise resource planning. That things okay. We study in model four. Then model five, micro and small enterprises. Small enterprises. You study after studying this subject, you may start your. Uh, you may think to start your own companies also. Uh, your textbook okay. Principles of management. P C three forty okay. That book uh, you have to refer. And I will give the notes okay. P P T S okay. of all the uh, all the subject okay then dynamic of uh, entrepreneur development and management uh, by vasant desai also you can refer entrepreneurship development small business that also you can study then management and entrepreneurship okay kanishka that also you can refer now my question uh, let me th- tell some introduction actually okay if you observe this the basic unit of society is individual no doubt whatever question comes what do you say you say fm what is fm fm stands for for me what is the benefit for me so individual benefit everybody thinks no doubt at all the basic unit of a society is individual but no individual can 
satisfy all his uh, what i call desires himself therefore he unites with his fellow members to work in organization way which he cannot achieve individually example if we say family school business firm etc whenever there is an organized group of people working towards a common goal some type of management is essential working in a group management is essential after completion of b you join to a company or now uh, one small mini mini project you are going to work or projects that time it's must and should management skills must and should otherwise they will fail in life management is a distinct ongoing process of allocating inputs of an organization by a variety of specialized functions for the purpose of achieving objectives main thing why we have to make some strategies to achieve some okay uh, these things objective that's all objectives so what are the definitions are there management management has been defined by different uh, thinkers in many ways here are uh, few okay henry fiel what he says what is his definitions of management to manage is to forecast and plan to organize to compound to coordinate and to control coordination will be the controlling will be there and forecasting future what will happen analyzing of future analyzing the future is must and should for the managers must and should very important for management okay that's a very 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 important if you observe these things okay suppose uh, now example uh, corona started those who started to for mask sanitizers industries okay still their industries run well because forecasting same way now future what will be the forecasting capacity and as per henry fiel says manage is nothing but a forecast and plan future what may happen we forecast their things and plan that according to that and uh, coordinate with their things and controlling also comes another definition yes peter f drunker what he says management is an organ organs can be described and defined only through their functions only through their functions it can be defined uh, next one terry what is this definition management is not people it is an activity like walking reading swimming or uh, running people who perform management can be designated as a member members of management exclusive leaders what i call excluded leaders these are all the some definitions if possible you try to remember these definitions right as it is in the textbook then okay uh, this one harold knudge says what he says management is the art of getting things done through and within the formally organized group you should able to manage the things more he says very clearly Kruger and Odenell he says management is the creation and maintenance of an internal environment in an enterprise where individuals working groups can perform efficiently and effectively towards the attainment of group goals it is the art of getting the work done through and with people in formally organized groups organized groups so we have studied the various definitions again some of definitions are there management is knowing exactly what you want first you should know what you want and uh, what to do and then seeing that they do it in the best and cheapest ways best way you can you have to do it and cheapest way you have to do it management is forecast to plan and to organize to command to coordinate and control so the this are all the very important uh, definitions what i say this subject is a very theoretical subject theory you have to write but learn it for the life purpose management is to forecast to, to plan and organize to command uh, to coordinate and control we have studied this one management is the process of planning planning is one of the very very important things you are not plan means you have plan to fail nothing but plan plan to fail so management is the process of planning organizing should able to organize these things leading and controlling the efforts of organization members using all other organizational resources to achieve started organization's goals which way for example you see here are to uh, 
go to which way that is the very important things where you are going as which way and you suppose you want to go to mangrove side you are going in kumta side reverse direction if you go first you never go reach to mangroves because you are going in wrong direction so management identifies whether you are going in the right direction or wrong direction please object this without uh, legs uh, arunima climbed the mount everest how because of that management skills that skills you have to study uh, dear students once again i welcome you to the uh, fifth semester and as a coordinator of this branch uh, i wish you all the very best study well next classes uh, we continue all the best